I wish this was not the case. The fact is you cannot go through life without having some awkward moments. You just mm -hmm. can't do it. So the best thing to do is learn how to handle them the right way. To that end, we are helping you out, of course, with etiquette expert Diane Gottsman. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. And we will get right into our awkward moments, some of just several scenarios that were sent to you. Yes. A lot of awkwardness happening in the world today, apparently. So we will get right into it. How about this one? My friend and I went on a trip. I paid for the hotel room with a credit card. My friend wrote me a check to cover her part. Her check bounced. Oh. What can I say without embarrassing her? Yeah, you know, I mean, you got to bring it up. You have to, and you have to assume it was an accident. Right. She, you know, our friends are not going to write us a hot check on purpose. So you preface it by saying, I know you'd want to know. You know, my, the, your check was returned mm -hmm. to the bank, and so you need to get with your bank to figure out that mix-up. So yeah. you're giving her the benefit of the doubt. It doesn't sound like you're accusing her, and she can take care of it. And then let's just hope that not only will she pay you back, but she will give you the non-sufficient fund uh, right. Charge, oh. you know, yeah, because they're going to charge you. They charged you something. Sometimes for that there is check. an innocent reason for oh, it. Money didn't for transfer sure. in time or Absolutely. something. Absolutely, I'm oh. very bad with money, so um, <laughs> you know, I can maybe see myself in this scenario. And of course, I would want my friend to tell me if I maybe hadn't yeah. put transferred the right funds into that account or yes. whatnot, and I would feel awful about it and so embarrassed. But yeah, I mean, it has to be brought up. It has to be brought, and especially you know, this person I'm sure invested quite a bit of money mm -hmm. into this hotel mm -hmm. room. So you know, if it's Ten dollars. It's not going to be as egregious as if it's two hundred dollars. Right. And you were counting on it. Okay. Right away. Here's another one. I started dating a guy I like a lot. He's changed his Facebook status to say in a relationship and posted my name. I'm not there yet. <laughs> Should Ooh. I ask him to change his status back to single? Oh. oh Tell you what, if you well, ask him to change his status back to single, he's going all <laughs> he's the way back single. to single. Well, I think honest communication is the key to any relationship, and so. She can say, listen, I'm just not there yet. I'm not ready to post it all over social media. Mm -hmm. So would you mind just taking it down for now? And when we're both ready and we're on the same page, we can post it together. I think that sounds good. That's understandable, too. But hopefully you can kind of be on the same page ahead of time where you know for sure 100% you're in a relationship with this person before you go. And but how awkward is, something. Is, is the getting to the relationship oh. part going to be from then on now? Oh. I think I would say that's probably a fork in the road. That yeah. conversation probably yeah. breaking breaking things up this or day and age. or okay I'm, I'm kind of feeling it too but I'm not quite there and you're kind of working on it but if I, mean, works can you can, I think that too. could be an end of the deal you, you well. see it you see it on social media before you've posted it right. yourself it's uncomfortable so mm -hmm. it is one of those conversations that you have to have yeah. but it's awkward but honestly it's best especially if yeah. someone's running that far ahead and you're not there that might scare you off that's right bit, so. yeah awkwardly <laughs> All right, how about this one? My good friend recently had a baby. I love her dearly, but she monopolizes oh, wow. the entire conversation with baby talk. Would it be rude to tell her I'd prefer we talk about something else? Oh, we all have those friends, right? And the I mean, answer is it would be rude yes, to say it that yes, way. So, you know, we have to, okay, we're, Lauren, we're going to practice with you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to be this person yes. um, after I have my baby that completely monopolizes the conversation and only talks about the baby. I hope I have other things to talk about, but gosh, I don't know if I was in that position what well, I would want my what? friend to say. To right, so, and the baby's know. a big part of your life. It is. True. Our children, perhaps I'm guilty of just talking about my kids all, all the oh, time. Oh gosh, and I'm sure yeah. I've been guilty as well, and Dave, I bet you have too at some point. But you know, what we have to do as friends is number one, not not tell them and not make okay. them feel uncomfortable in that way. Oh. But be ready with some topics. Yes. Sure. So Try to open the conversation. Talk, and then you bring up some topics that are interesting. Mm -hmm. And because a friend is going to, talk, going to have a two-way conversation yeah. with you. So just be ready to be interesting and bring out some other topics for that person. And any kind of friend, yeah. it's you became friends because you had some other common interests yes. to begin with. So get yes. into that. And and then, of course, cut them some slack because the baby's a huge topic of conversation for of that. Of course. Period. That's right. So yeah. a lot of that. Okay. Uh, I meant to send... Ooh, oh, give me the chills. <laughs> the, I meant to send an email to a oh, co-worker no. complaining oh. about my annoying boss. Oh, gosh. I accidentally sent that email to the boss. Oh, Will gosh. I ever recover from this in my boss's eyes? Oh, that's a bad one. <sighs> no. And you know what? You're right. <laughs> Yeah, the I don't answer think is will. probably not. Mm -hmm. You know, the reality is probably not. They may forgive you if you can get mm -hmm. past it, if they don't fire you, because now they don't trust you. Yeah. Yeah. How can they trust you with a client or their company if you're talking behind their back? So if you can get past it, and you should apologize immediately and say it was, right. an, er I, it was an error in judgment, I am so very sorry, they probably are never quite going to yeah. forget. I mean, you might have some incredible boss. The that, only yeah. thing I could think about is that we all, even with people we're close to, have moments where they annoy us or they, we say yes. something. If you really had a good, long mm -hmm. relationship yes. with your boss that's healthy and be like, yeah, I was mad at you the other day. I, you caught me. This happened that's to me right. with a text message. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Um, one, of, one of our managers here, I wasn't really complaining about him, but it was kind of about him. I had a frustrating day, sent it to a coworker, or wanted to send it to a coworker, <laughs> sent it to him if you're watching right now. There you go. And, and then I pulled him aside and we had a long talk about it. And, you, you know, he understood. Like, yeah. I was having a frustrating day. I apologized. He understood where I was coming from and that I was frustrated. And we moved exactly. on from there. So, so we do have these de momentary lapses in good judgment. But if it's, if it's someone that you don't have a relationship with, if there's... if you know, there's a lot of money involved and, and they're relying on you, yeah. it's going to be a problem. Damage control needs to happen very quickly. Very okay. quickly, okay. Yes. very okay. sincerely. Got to address that right uh, away. Yes. Oh, that is, ah. this is awkward. We had one more. We can't get to <laughs> it. it. Um, but we uh, enjoyed that very much. Hopefully, we gave out some good information, Diane. We